Hey guys, I know I sound a little bit sick. I have had a cold for like four days now, and I'm almost a hundred percent better. I'm like ninety four percent better today. But don't worry, it's just a cold, not COVID. And very minor. So, ignore my messy hair. It's kind of a mess because I haven't washed it in like three or four days because I have had a minor cold and I was focused on that. And since I discovered that it is wavy, every once in a while I'll like find a section of my hair that uh, is like curly for like a minute and then I brush it and then it's back to wavy. Although it doesn't look that way now. But that's because it's kind of a mess and also I made it where it I kind of straightened it a little bit. But, and by straightened it a little bit, I mean I haven't washed it in, in like three or four days. And whenever I don't wash it for more than in three days with the with function of beauty, because I have function of beauty hair soap that I've been using, when I don't wash it for three or four days, then my hair kind of starts looking a little bit straight. I also, I have an, a ponytail that is not the greatest looking. So anyways, this is the last video of 2022 from me. So make sure you like, subscribe, turn on the post notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Lolly Forever. Follow me on TikTok at Lolly Forever Run. Follow my dog Instagram, Baby Sammy for Life. I'm gonna be talking all about 2022 and just kind of the past two years about like training to be a pop star and that sort of thing. In April 1st of 2022 actually marked the one year of consistently training to be a pop star. Well, with dance. Here's the thing. I'm going to, like, say this. Is what I mean by that is I did a dance class once a week for one hour. That was a super, super, super beginner dance class for like six months when I was 11, almost 12. And that's when I knew I wanted to become a pop star. And then in 2021, two weeks before April 1st, I did my first Ever ALDC Zoom master class and I loved it. None of the teachers talked to me, but I didn't care. Most people would be mad, I feel, if they paid for a dance class and the teacher never talks to them. But I loved it and I didn't care because. First up, I was very thankful and grateful um, that my parents paid for the dance class. I was very thankful and grateful that the ALDC even did the Zoom classes. And I was very thankful and grateful that at the teachers that were teaching that day, a... Gianna Martello, Abby Lee Miller, and Miranda, not Melissa. I was going to say Miranda, but that was a different dance teacher that I worked with at one point. Like, like I 
were just very thankful and grateful that they were teaching a class and that uh, I got to be in the class. Also, I was thankful and grateful to be in class as I was excited over being in class, learning something. Because, here's the thing, this is something true, um, that it's, I know that and not every single class, the teacher gonna be talking to me. I know that. I will say, since that first class, as most of the time the teacher talks to me and stuff by giving me corrections and stuff. But mm, that's not always going to happen. I know that. Uh, I done dance classes where that's happened. Like, and it's not about whether the teacher is talking to me or not. It's about taking the class listening to the teacher, learning something from them, because I'm, because like Abby said, and I shouldn't need a dance teacher to give me corrections. And if I know I'm making a mistake, I should be able to be like, wait, hey, I need to straighten the leg, or I should be able to realize what the mistake is, and fix it without have to have a dance teacher or someone tell me to fix it. I should be able to just fix it on my own and realize that I need to fix it on my own. So, yeah, so that, so that happened. And then I think Abby didn't really, I think that, Abby didn't talk to me that first class because I think she just didn't really know anything about me at the time and the things that I was making mistakes on was flexibility and that at, like even if she were to tell me to work on like if one of those where it doesn't get fixed it's by trying to fix it. It's something that doesn't get fixed that second. It's something that, yeah, she can tell me to work on it, and I'm going to work on it, but it's something that takes time to work on and to improve. So, yeah, and I had a lot of fun with that. And, yeah, and so, April 1st of 2021, um, is when I really started taking dance class multiple days a week and that sort of stuff. So, yeah, that is something that I do miss. I do miss not being in dance class that much anymore. I am thankful because of the because of the money side of things. I'm like, I my parent paid a lot of money for dance. They they did, and even now my dad still pays a a lot of money for dance and voice lessons and ask Abby Q and A's. Well, he's only paid for one of them. And then I done two. But the reason he didn't pay for the first one was because I had ALDC worldwide. So I got to do it anyways. Anyways. So, yes. Yeah, so that happened. But April 1st marked the one year of consistently training to be a pop star. Or uh, I did a lot of dancing at the beginning of the year and I still do a lot of dancing. And now I'm in dance at least twice a week usually. 
only, and then I have a voice lesson at least once a week, usually. But, before I was in dance, I want to say six days a week. In, yeah, six days a week I was in dance. And at one point I was in dance six days a week. And I had a voice lesson one of those days. So, yeah. Uh, I'm training to be a pop star. And when I first knew I wanted to become a pop star, I didn't know how much work went into it. And I will say that last year, year when I first started like the Zoom classes and stuff, I will say that I was not working as hard as I am now. Uh, and what I mean by that is I was getting and adjusted to it. And what I mean by that is I went from having all the free time of like I oh when I'm done with school oh and homework even though I'm from school I get homework. Or and so like I'm I would just need to kind of having like like the afternoon to like watch YouTube and TikTok and stuff. So to kind of get used to from doing that to having dance six days a week and to have school during the day and, and then have a few hours after like school and homework or to like watch YouTube, TikTok, film a YouTube video, film a TikTok, that sort of stuff. And then have dance for a couple hours. Like that was something that I need to get used to. And so yeah, I did get used to it. I will say at the beginning I wasn't working as hard at the beginning. I was still getting used to it. Now, I'm used to it, and now I'm working really hard. And I've been used to it for a while now. So, yeah, anyways, in 2022, Oh, a couple months ago, I started voice lessons, and that was a lot of fun. I just felt like it was the right time to start working on singing and dancing still. I was still dancing. I'm still dancing. I'm still singing. And even though I have not had a voice lesson this week, or last week. I don't think I had one. So, yeah. Anyways. Anyways, that happened and that was really cool. So, anyways. That happened and that was cool. But... Yeah, I will say something that I get so excited about saying is when I knew I wanted to, like, start training to be a pop star and stuff, I thought that meant being in dance class with dance teachers, being in voice lesson with voice teachers, and it is. But it's way cooler and it's way more than that. I, I am constantly in voice lessons with my two voice teachers, Alison Porter and Carrie Larson. And 
I have one voice less than a week. And sometimes with Allison Porter, sometimes with Carrie Larson. And and that's really fun. But it's also really cool because they're professional. And that's really cool. Um, but also, it's being in dance class with professional, famous, well, some of them are famous, dance teachers, and that's really cool. Like, it's really cool to say that, that I know Abby Lee Miller. Like, that's really cool to know that, like, I know Abby Lee Miller. Like, I see her on Zoom all the time. Um, I talk to Abby Lee Miller. Or it's really cool to say that, like, Abby Lee Miller follows me on Instagram. Like, that's not me trying to brag. It's just that is just something really, really exciting that happened. And it's one of those where I'm just really excited about that. And it's also one of the things I knew my mom always wanted to happen because she knows that I am probably the biggest Abby Lee Miller fan there is, or at least one of them. And then, and she also knows of how hard I was working in dance classes with Abby Lee Miller, and she also knew how much money we were paying Abby for, like, Zoom dance classes and Zoom Ask Abby Q&A. Well, that didn't happen until after my mom passed away. So, yeah, but she also knew how much I really wanted Abby to follow me on Instagram. And so when it finally happened, like, I was really excited about that. I was really excited about it. Sorry if I sound off. Like I said, and like I said, I am getting over a very minor cold. So, yeah. Anyways. It was like, it was really cool that that happened in 2022. It's really cool because as I'm hanging out with professional people constantly on Zoom. And that was really cool. And cool. Like, that's just really cool. But yeah, 2022, I improved a lot as a dancer and a singer, and that was really cool. I got some good stuff for Christmas, and that was really cool. And cool, I got three different microphones for Christmas, thanks to my dad. And because something that I had on my Christmas list for him, because like I said in past videos, in case you are new and didn't watch the videos or you just don't know, oh, uh, I always make two Christmas lists. One for Santa, one for my dad. And, or my parents. This year it was my dad because my mom passed away. So, yeah. But on my Christmas list for my dad, I wanted a microphone. Or phone, like, a handheld, like, then a handheld microphone. There was one that uh, I, like, specifically wanted called a pop star microphone, which is really cool. And, cool. and I liked it because, first up, it's called a pop star microphone, so it seems like a good Christmas gift for someone who is training to be a pop star. Also, I really want a handheld microphone because 
I was using a microphone, but uh, it was on a stand, and I couldn't walk around with it. Like, I had to stand in one spot to use it and stuff, and I had to stand up to use it and stuff, so... Yeah, so what had actually happened, because there is a story that I'm getting ready to tell you because it's really short, but something. And so my dad started talking to me one day after he looked through the list, and he's like, what in the world is a pop star microphone or phone? And so I showed him a picture of one, and he's like, wouldn't you rather just have, like, a headset microphone? Because then your hand's free. And I'm like, mm, I never really thought about it. And, like, I looked into a headset microphone before, but didn't really know which one was better or, and stuff. So we talked about it, and then for Christmas, I got a pop star microphone, which was really cool, really cool, thanks to my dad. But I also got a headset microphone, which was really cool. And I got the, like, speaker thingy that you plug it into. Uh, it's like a speaker that, that comes with a belt, and you can... And put it on the belt and just wear the belt out, or you can put it and like, or you can and put it on your clothes or something because uh, it's a clip, yeah. kind of like a clip. That's what I'm gonna say. And it's a thing that you can put uh, on your clothes. Oh, it doesn't really clutch up, but it's a thing that you can wear on your clothes, and it's like a little, like, speaker thing that the headset microphone plugs into. Also, it come, it came with another microphone, which is just a little, like, clip on your clothes microphone. Like, not the great thing ever, but it is something, and I'm very thankful and grateful for it. It, it and stuff and it works with the same like speaker or I'm thankful for it I'm grateful for it and I yeah as so uh, thanks to my dad I got that and then I'm um, like you got both I um, like I when I open gifts as I told him, I'm like, you got both? And he's like, I, yeah, uh, I got, I got you both. Because I figured you can um, use whichever one you want. And, or that way you can and have both. Like, he got it for me so I could have both. Um, a headset one that I can use sometimes. Um, and then a thing called a pop star microphone, which they had them, them at a lot of places. So, yeah, that was really nice of him to do for Christmas. And I got some other great Christmas gifts. I got a lot of mini grants for Christmas, and I really like that. I, I got a lot of mini grants for Christmas. And that was really cool. I got three. I'm thinking here. No. Nope. I got uh, four different mini brand thing. Plus every single JoJo Siwa mini brand that they make. For those of you who don't know what mini brands are. They're tiny toy versions of things. So let me explain that a little bit better. Er, 
basically it's a type of toy. Or and it, and there's a ton of them to collect. They're kind of like Shopkins, but they're not like Shopkins. But basically, they're just a bunch of like toy miniature toy thing um actual things so like you can get like there's so many different like series and stuff look it up if you don't know what it is because i would i would like show you some of mine but they are not in my room right now so yeah but they're really cool. I don't play with them, but I love to collect them, and I love to, uh, like, oh, I love to collect them and look at them sometimes. I'm, but yeah, I got some for Christmas. I got JoJo ones because my dad knew how much I wanted the JoJo mini brand. And I don't know which series or which collection the JoJo ones are in. And so when I tried to look it up, I couldn't find anything on it. All I could find was like a bunch of like people and like places selling them online. So, my dad just got me the entire collection online. Found a point that was sell, Found a website that was selling the entire collection. And, and he got it for me because it wasn't super expensive. And it was something that he knew I wanted for Christmas. Even though it wasn't on my list. Many brands were on my list. But, yeah, that was really cool. But he knew it was something I would love. I also got two, like, storage things for mini brands that come with a couple. So I got a bunch of mini brands for Christmas. And I got some good gifts for Christmas. So that was really fun. It was really fun. 2022, uh, I will say 2022, it was really fun for me. Like, it was really fun for me. And I will say that, like, I the only thing that I can really remember about 2022 that I'm like, oh, well, that wasn't fun was my mom passing away. But... Honestly, if we, I just been working really hard with training to be a pop star. That was something in that I will say is that I didn't really get down or anything. Like, yeah, I love my mom. Yeah, I miss her. Like, that sort of thing. But I feel like I just looked at it as, well, I'm going to do what she wanted me to do. I'm going to work really, really hard to make my dreams happen. Because that's what she wanted me to do. She wanted me to make my dreams happen. She wanted me to become a pop star or one day. Because she knows what I dream of. And she knows that, like... I like, there's not really anything else out there that gets me excited in that same way as a career in the future. And she knows that it's one of those that I have a good chance at. That I have a good chance at making it happen. Like, yeah, she was, yeah, she always understood that there's a chance where it may not happen, but she also knew I had a really good chance based off of what 
my voice teacher and my dance teacher were saying. And that it's not completely impossible. And I know that, like, I know that, my dad knows that, my mom knew that, like, that is not completely impossible. It may sound impossible when you think, oh, I'm trying to become a pop star, training to be a pop star, but it's not impossible. Because if you think about it, at JoJo Siwa and a lot of famous people, at the end of the day, they're just as human as I am. At the end of the day, they started in with the same thing. They started with dance classes and some of them voice lessons and stuff like at the end of the day, they worked hard to become famous. And, yeah. So, yeah, that's really cool. So, I'm going to say peace out. Bye.